is now officially the first week of October. We are spot hopping. We're not going to use the canoe at all today. Just took the Durango with no canoe. We're going to go to three or four different spots. This one's not going to be very long. I'm just stopping here for a few minutes because when this water is really low, it has a set of rocks that goes across. I guess you'd call it a ford set of rapids with a little bowl hole below it and there's the potential to get a couple fish out of it we're on our way downstream from here we're going to go to the big rapid one of the big sets of rapids you always see us at a couple times a year then we're going to go to the spillway and then also to another spot near there so at least three spots possibly four depending on how good we do somewhere and how long we stay at those spots but i couldn't resist to try this a few minutes because i i had to stop over and use the bathroom anyway and there's nobody here and this is a really good catfish hole as well down there but i did not bring my catfish gear today it would have been a good idea to fish for flatheads but we're going kind of more after white bass and buffalo or who knows what but i decided i'm going to at least give this a try for a few minutes it looks really prime right now i know there's something setting down in here possibly some white bass too Oh yeah, I got some. Not bad. Second cast, guy. Honey! Alright, a little spotted bass. It's going to be a good day, guys. It's in the 60s. Windy again. This whole week has just been dry fishing. I'm taking vacation the week after this week. The week after the week coming up, October 10th to the 18th. A little spotted bass, nothing big, but it is a fish. Got some messed up fins. All right, that's fish number one. Let's see what else I can get. Maybe it's better with a crankbait. Oh, got another one right here in front of me oh my spotted bass number two guys i knew that they'd be biting today i just knew it they the fall is officially here these this water has cooled off so much the fish are just loving it. i'm using a three inch green and chartreuse grub with a green and chartreuse head pretty cool Two fish in a matter of two minutes. That didn't take me long to get hung again. Another one. All right. Spotted bass number three, guys. And I'm using a new crankbait I've never tried. Oh, he fell off. It is. A hologram shad made by Academy, their own brand, which I always forget the name of it. The brand is 
called H2O Express. An H2O Express hologram shad crankbait that goes three to five foot down. Looks absolutely amazing in the water, guys. Spotted bass about 10 inches and muddy. It's fish number three. Oh yeah, man, four guys, this number four, hooked him in the tail of all things, now what the heck, I'm sure he swatted at it, but my gosh, all right, spotted bass number four, all the same so far, about 10 inches, once again, got him on that hologram shad nice lure for $4.90 under $5 that's what's cool about it under five bucks all right guys we are at spot number two and now it is complete overcast which is a plus and it's very windy here the winds are coming mostly from the south and a little bit from the west. The southwest winds, complete overcast. That should be a good thing. This water right now is the lowest I've seen it in two years. So it's going to be very calm where I usually have trouble keeping that crankbait down to get in the zone. It's going to be very easy this time because there's mainly just one large chute. 10 foot wide of water coming through right in the center there oh this is going to be easy to get fish yeah i almost regret not bringing my catfish poles i should have brought them i don't know what i was thinking i could have caught a blue sucker maybe or a flathead while i'm lure fishing but oh well we're spot hopping but we probably could have stayed here all day and caught fish Maybe if I do really good here, I'll come back tomorrow. Yeah, this is the lowest I have ever seen it, period. This is the lowest I've ever seen this water. I got one now oh man I was yeah I was hung and then I broke it free and he got on there I don't know what this is but it's big I got something really big it could be a blue sucker foul hook man this ain't no gar either it's not a gar I'll tell you that right now I got something big here, guys. It is a blue bu bu buffalo or blue sucker, I think. Blue sucker, oh, in the fin. Get the net, get the net. The net, come on. All right, guys, blue sucker number three for my lifetime. Oh, man. Yeah, he is. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, I just foul hooked a blue sucker with a crankbait. I got to set my hole down where it won't get sand all over it. 
Oh man, oh, I'm going to have to have pliers, I think. Oh you need boy. You to get your crank bit first. I am. You need to be, be, be patient. You don't need to hurry. Okay. I don't think he's going to even be 30. He's only 26. Okay, I need you to take the... 26. Yeah, he's real big around though. I didn't catch all the other ones I caught were real slim. Okay, I'm gonna need you to take the camera off my head and then I'll just film me for a few minutes. That's really big. Should I get my gloves? It'll get a better grip. You're gonna wash it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it made it worth coming. Yeah. I was just talking about these on the way here, guys. I said, you never know, I can get a blue sucker. And I was talking about with a worm, though. Oh, my God. 26 inches, he's but he's the big biggest worm. around I've ever caught. Oh, my gosh. That's a big fish. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, third blue sucker ever. <laughs> I got a 38 incher before, so this don't even close, but this is the biggest around one I've ever caught. They're usually more real slender like a walleye. You don't need a... You don't need a zone because it's a big fish. One of my favorite fish. Whoa. I already made it worth coming here, if it, even if this is all I get. Yep, nice one. I'm watching your line, just hold on a second. It's really just, big. Go ahead and film me. I'm watching. I think you had a bite, but I'm watching. It ain't nothing major if it is. Yeah, he's decent. Gosh. I'm Put happy mouth out, guys. Like that. Walk, walk, walk. They are one cool fish. Very rare. Very isolated. And I've been lucky, fortunate enough to get three of them now. Really cool. Man. I knew right away it wasn't a gar because of the way he was fighting. He was staying down and running real hard. These things fight now, let me tell you guys. Because it's big. All right, I'm gonna get her back in. That it is fits. one awesome fish. Okay. I'm gonna tell you, put slow and pull the tail. We can fish, we can swim big. Pull the tail, pull the tail. Curly tail, the grub, or a crankbait? <clears throat> Alright, Wilma's got something. My battery's about to go dead. White bass! Oh my god! I've been out there all. Maybe they're just not hitting a crankbait. Oh Alright, Wilma baby. got a nice white bass on the pink pulsar. Yeah, all right, hold him up. Oh, you almost need to walk. Hold him on this, show this side. Hold it with, it with that to your back and show this side. You need to hold him by the body too. My battery's about to go dead, so. Leave the lure in it for a minute. Just grab his lip. 
All right, guys, we got what we came for. All we caught was the blue sucker in this one. I, I walked all the way out in these rapids throwing cranks and couldn't get a single white bass. Why, okay, down. You're covering your face again. Wilma got a nice white bass on the pink pulsar. That's what she caught one on last time she was here. That's a big one, too. He's 17. Man, that's a nice one. My gosh. There we go. Right when I was about to want to give up and leave. Now, how come I can't get nothing on the crankbait? I got to change my battery. No, we ain't got nothing to keep nothing in. Made it worth it, I'll tell you what. You should bring a cooler. I want to hold it real quick. Too. I wash it and then you put more sand again. Here, let me get the pole. They just come up once in a while to feed. That's nice. So we'll put it back now. I'm gonna keep that one. There's nothing to keep it in. Cooler, cooler, cooler. Don't have a cooler or not? Yeah. I'm gonna hold it. Yeah. All right, now I'm going to try to get one. They may just be feeding here just for a minute or two. So we need to try. Okay. Okay. They just ain't wanting crankbaits, maybe. All right, you go get your granddaddy, the hybrid striper. Man, at least we did get one. We never get a lot, but we always get qual quality. They're always big here. All right, guys, I'm at spot number three, the spillway. I have 50 pound braid to a two foot 50 pound mono leader with a swivel and crankbait. Oh. oh, he's still on there. Shit. I thought he got off. Small. Maybe not. He's just now starting to fight. Oh, it's actually pretty decent. I think it's a buffalo. Yep. No, he's little. Just the current, and I had him hooked in the side. No, I don't need it. Well, it's about time I'm catching up to you. <laughs> He's a little one. You can have him if you want, though. He's only about two pounds, though. I ain't gonna mess with him. I fair hooked him. I thought he was foul hooked. It's in his lip. That's how I get him with a crankbait. <sighs> I'll I'll set it on the rock. <sighs> Alright guys.
guys. Big mouth buffalo, about two pounds. Little guy. Souvenir this time. At least last time he gave me a souvenir. Hit another one. Oh, he's on there. Nope. Mm. He was stuck on there for one second. There he is. He came back for it, I guess. Hey, if this is a buffalo, you can have it if you want it. Yeah, it is. Hey, he's a decent one. He's five or six anyway. Maybe seven. I, if that's a, I don't know if it's the same one, but I bumped it and had it on for one second again, and about five seconds later, he got back on. <laughs> it's pretty bad though, only two fish in about two hours. It ain't a good rate, is it? <laughs> Hell, I caught four earlier back to back at the other place and then it just quit. What was that at? Down below Fisk. Those little spotted bass though. They were all 10 inches. I guess get the dip net. Yeah. Wilma. Yeah. Make sure I'm recording. Yeah. All right, guys, this is Buffalo number two. It's another big mouth buffalo on the crankbait again okay i'm gonna go ahead and give it to him we usually like to keep them too but we didn't bring the cooler today them filipinos love them it'll it'll show me on there i'm gonna my hand got oh, are they bad? Yeah, I got Okay, hey, Wilma, can you film me a second before I give this away? I want to. Yeah, let me put my shirt on. Oh, okay, yeah, that'd be fine. Oh, boy. That way I get a good uh, picture. I just, it's recording video, but I get pictures from it that way. Oh, boy. Well, he ain't wanting to open his mouth. <laughs> supposed to be a big mouth, buddy. <laughs> He's about six, maybe. He might go seven. That ain't too bad, guys. Another no. big mouth buffalo, number two. That makes, oh, six or seven fish for me. Only two here, though. Finally a decent one, though. Yeah. I've, I tell you what, I've had about 10 of them get off. Uh, they do that thing where they stay on two or three seconds and all of a sudden gone. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll let you carry them over in the ditch yeah. or something. No, I'll just carry them by oh, hand, okay. man. Well, yeah, human rag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, no problem, man. <laughs> I appreciate you. Man. Yeah, that, that's a good meal there on that one. What we do, uh, I was telling the nephew there, what we do when we catch them, I just rib them out and all that with them little bones, I get rid of that. Oh, uh, okay. And then uh, you just dealing with the rib bones, but we'll take and soak them in salt water, put them in a cool huh. water, put salt in it, and vinegar, white vinegar. Oh, uh, okay. Put some ice in it. Yeah, I got a woman, uh, she's friends with another Filipino. She'll give me 20 bucks a piece for them. Really? So there's, I, I said, man, I'm going to come up here one day and get my limit in. <laughs> Make about four or five hundred dollars. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Down here. It has been absolutely horrible. I wish we would have stayed at the first place but brought my catfish poles. Or went somewhere else. It's one of them days. Just horrible slow. The water's too low is the problem here, actually. I think the fish were biting, just not here. When it's this low, it just, it spooks them. What do you got? Buffalo? Yeah, it's not a bad one. Ah, 
let him go out a little bit. I gotta get him from the front. I can't get him from the back. All right, well, I gotta change my battery soon after this. Finally got our spot, but it's almost too late. Ow. Mm. He's not bad. That's a. You got a black. Yep. Mm hmm. Yep. He's got the big old thick poofy lips. He's got the grids, the lines in it, grooves in it. You got a black buffalo on a crankbait. That's. A, it broke the hook. Oh, wait. It was already like that. Oh, you're gonna have to almost come down I there. See. You're almost gonna have to come down there and use pliers. Right when I was getting ready to start getting some too. But at least you got something. I gotta change my battery too. Soon. That's a nice black buffalo, man. Alright guys, Wilma got a really decent black buffalo on a crankbait, a chrome clown crankbait again. You're gonna have to you need to let more line out of your pole first. That one was already broke. This will be about the last fish I can get a good view of before it gets dark. Nice black buffalo, guys. Just like that, keep make it where its tails, yeah, straight. That's a nice black buffalo, guys. Good fish to end the day with anyway. It's been really slow today. But that made that made it worth coming right there. That's a big one. He's about eight yeah. pounds. It's heavy. Yeah. Okay. Good job, honey. I'm gonna go change my battery and start throwing where they were at. Okay. Good job, at least you got something here. You was fishless until then. 